pleasure over the past two weeks of speaking with some wonderful people in Santa Clarita Valley who have been nominated by the respective organizations that they have uh, done a lot of work for and volunteered for, for the 2014 SCV Man and Woman of the Year Awards. Now, the award ceremony itself will take place on May 2nd, that's a Friday, at the Hyatt Regency Valencia, and uh, the recipients of those awards will be chosen by a panel of past recipients. That's how it works. Uh, with me this morning is someone who has been on the, the Hometown Morning Show at least a few times, and I'm pl proud to have him back. Chuck Morris, who is nominated by the Friendly Valley Veterans Club. Good morning, uh, Chuck. Good morning. Now, Friendly Valley, for those of us who have been in the Santa Clarita Valley for more than five minutes, it is a senior community. Correct. And uh, tell me a little bit about the Friendly Valley Veterans Club and what... Uh, well, Friendly Valley Veterans Club has been going on for oh, many, many years, uh, even long before. I've been there 20 years, and it's been long before 20 years. Uh, we have an awful lot of veterans uh, uh, that live in Friendly Valley. And about five years ago, I took over the, uh, uh, the Friendly Valley Veterans Club as commander. We have, as of now, over 100 uh, members of our club. And it is a club that not only is open to uh, veterans in Friendly Valley, but it's open to veterans anywhere. Anybody uh, that would like to come to our uh, meetings uh, are welcome, and they can join a club if they so desire. And what we do is uh, we try to help veterans with all types of uh, uh, things that they may have trouble in getting. Uh, we, I have speakers there every month. We have meetings every month. I have speakers there uh, from various veterans uh, uh, organizations to give us information as veterans on benefits that we're entitled to that we don't know we're entitled to. And there are many. And uh, I've had people from uh, uh, Sacramento come. I've had people from the VA. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the members of our club uh, actually works at the VA. I've had uh, uh, people from uh, all types of industry that uh, are involved with veterans and veterans affairs come and talk to at our meetings. And we also do a lot of... Um, uh, things for the community too. Uh, we sponsored the uh, uh, the Vietnam Wall when it was here in September. Uh, I think that was probably one of the neatest things that our club has ever done. Uh, we also on Memorial Day have a parade in Friendly Valley. Uh, we have a Memorial Day service uh, in uh, in our auditorium uh, every Memorial Day where we uh, honor uh, several veterans. And then also we read the names of all the veterans past and ring a bell, just like they do at all other memorial services. And uh, along with that, um, myself personally, I'm involved in many, many different veterans uh, uh, affairs. Uh, I'm involved with uh, Habitat for Humanity and Habitat for Heroes, where we're building 87 homes here in Santa Clara. Right. Uh, I'm involved with Operation Gratitude. I'm involved with uh, Veterans Advocate. I'm involved with, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, the uh, uh, Senior Center in Newhall. Uh, one of the members of my club uh, uh, in Friendly Valley uh, is, goes to the Senior Center all the time. And I personally don't have uh, any reason to go to the Senior Center yet because I'm very active and, and I'm out and about all the time. But he called me about Oh, six, eight months ago, and asked me if there was a possibility to help them put together a veterans group uh, at the senior center. And I said, sure. Uh, went there, and we now have a veterans club uh, at the senior center. And never realizing that at our senior center here in Newhall, we have over 150 veterans that belong to, that, to the senior center. Never had any idea. Right. And uh, so we now have... Uh, we have a wall that has pictures on the wall of all the uh, uh, veterans and uh, medals and things of that nature. We've got a flag uh, uh, and a flagpole that we've put outside, and uh, uh, we've had flag-raising ceremonies and such. So uh, that's kind of a neat thing, uh, you know, uh, to, uh, to be involved in. And so in, in, in retrospect, I mean, not only am I the commander of our Veterans Club, but I'm also involved in many other veterans affairs and 
never in my life did I ever realize that I would be doing anything like this, but it's so rewarding uh, to help, uh, you know, in different veterans groups and such. Are you hoping with this nomination, should you be uh, actually uh, granted the award of SCV <laughs> Man of the Year, that this will help shed more light on, on the issues that surround veterans here in yeah, the Santa Cruz Valley? Yeah, I, I, I do because, like I say, my focus, I'm 79 years old, and, and my focus now has, is really on veterans and veterans affairs. And I feel blessed to be living in this community because this community really stands behind their veterans. Uh, you know, we're a community of 230,000 people with a sphere of influence of like 400,000. And almost 15% of our population are veterans. There's over 15,000 veterans that live in Santa Clarita. And I found that, that uh, uh, in California, uh, cities of our size, uh, there are more people, uh, veterans, that live in Santa Clarita than anywhere else in California. And, of course, the city is very dedicated to veterans, and, uh, and I feel blessed to be a part of that and to live in this, in this city that does that. And uh, uh, it, it's, it's, it's really a, a, a blessing to be able to do the things that I'm doing at my age. Uh, I know a lot of people at my age that sit home and melt, you know, and they, exactly. look and they sit in front of a TV or something. But, uh, yeah, I think that, uh, that uh, uh, if, if that were to happen, and I feel blessed just to be honored. I think it's just a, it's an honor to be chosen, and uh, whether I win or I don't win uh, really is negligible. It's just the, the fact that, I, that people are uh, thinking that what I'm doing is helpful for our community, and that's what I really want to do. Well, we appreciate all the hard work you do for the community, Chuck. And we also uh, wish you the best of luck on your nomination for well, SCV Man so of the much. Year. And again, always a pleasure to talk to you. And again, the SCV Man of the Year, Man and Woman of the Year Award Ceremony will be uh, Friday, May 2nd at the Valencia or Hyatt Regency Valencia. You can learn more at our website, hometownstation.com.